All right, guys. So I was sitting down to edit uh, the footage from Dylan and I's fishing trip, and I got to looking through it, and I realized none of his has sound. So you're gonna get it from my perspective, um, and then next time we'll just make sure we do better. So if you hear me talking to something and it seems like it's the air, it's actually Dylan. You're just not gonna be able to see what he was responding. Missed the turn. He, we should probably pay attention and not talk. Ah. <laughs> pretty sure none of that just recorded so just in case i'm throwing a berkeley chigger crawl uh we're doing a challenge to see how many fish we can catch on different baits so so far i've got one on i've got two on a jig uh, dylan has one on a 10 inch worm and we're just kind of zooming through here Fishing, fishing this grass along the bank, seeing what we, seeing what's up. Dude, I'm telling you, early spring when the fish are up shallow, this would be one of the coolest things. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure you can reach it. <laughs> I don't even know exactly where it's hooked. On that little stick right there. Yeah, I did. My fish weigh 300 pounds, so. That is, yeah, that's definitely cool. I don't even know if the guys on the GoPro can see that stuff or not. I don't know, I don't know if you guys can actually see that or not. But this water. Anybody that's watching this up north probably thinks we're absolute idiots because they see stuff like this all the time, but, you know, to, well, yeah, to a guy that's used to fishing muddy water like I am, this is one of the coolest things ever, be able to see the structure. I wish we could see fish holding on it, but I don't see any bass, so let's, let's get scarce. So, we're going to make a little modification to that chigger crawl. I think maybe it's a little too big. So now it's not as big. I think it's about time for this chigger crawl to go bye-bye. I'm gonna go with the Rage Space Monkey. Yep, bye-bye chigger crawl. Let's see here. That's the one. Oh, it comes with instructions. But I'm a guy, I don't read those. Do 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 do. Step one, unattach all the appendages. Step two, 
Let's catch fish. Seems fairly simple. Hey, comment below if you use these Rage, I don't remember what they're called now, but comment below if you use them and you have success. How do you use them? I've seen some guys use them on a Carolina rig before, but um, usually if I'm throwing a Carolina rig, I'm either throwing a big worm on it or I'm throwing a lizard. I don't throw a whole lot of other things on it. So comment below how you use these and, and what colors you use and what you catch. Oh, oh, you're swimming off of mine. <laughs> no, he didn't. No, he didn't. Hey, watch your language. We're on camera. No, I didn't. This is back to that good grass again. I, you know what? I don't want your negativity in my life. I think you need to go back to flipping, sir. That crankbait is giving you a bad attitude. Go back to worm on. Bait change. I bet that'll get bit. He actually called his shot, and that's the biggest fish we've called all day, too. That's ridiculous. <laughs> called his shot, he's like, that's a fish. Like, yep, not if you scare him all away. And he goes right there. On, again, on his fairy wand. Pitching a Havoc Pit Boss. <laughs> Ridiculous. It's a nice little fish, too. Jeez. Hey, we'll take it. Pit Boss. Watermelon right I'm pulling out the money. Green pumpkin blue. I've covered this in a different video on my other channel. And uh, so I really like this bait. And the reason I really like this bait is in clear water or in water. It has a blue iridescence like the shiny uh, slime stuff on an earthworm. So just rig this thing up weightless. And see what we can do I'll have a link in the description to these also these are these are like mm, my top 10 favorite weightless and shaky head worms so I would say for sure check them out got another one <laughs> ow you know you guys always flop when I try to get a hold of you and all I'm doing is helping Caught them on that worm though, that I said's money because they are money. Just weightless. Yeah, well now you're right over top of them, so we ain't gonna catch them anymore. Yeah, he ruins everything. There you go. That's three fish. I'm over the bait change and I'm staying with this. He tore that worm up. Yep, sure enough. That might be a little bit better one. No? <laughs> oh, don't count. Alright guys, that's the end of the day on the water. Um, over here at Drake Lake at Jim Edgar Panther Creek and I bet you it's the clearest pond in Illinois. That's public. Um, we had a lot of fun. We caught, I don't know, five or six dinks. It was a good time though. So, um, you know, if anybody could ever get over here, especially with a boat, I really think if you want to experience this pond to the best, you need a boat. But if you can get over here with a boat with just a trolling motor on it or a kayak, I think you'll have a lot of fun. I definitely recommend it. You got anything you want to say? Um, just a reminder, we will link all those baits that we used today in the comments below and comment and see what 
what you thought about our video today. Um, and hopefully, we'll get some likes out of you guys and uh, we'll continue to do this on and on and on. So, uh, I don't know, the way we caught them today, we caught them different ways. More, more soft plastic. Yeah, I'd say probably more soft plastic say. than anything. The first couple fish we caught and I deleted the footage of uh, came on a jig that I tied up, which was really cool, but pretty much everything else came off a of soft plastic of some kind, whether it was Texas rig or weightless. Or, uh, but either way, we had a lot of fun. So as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, uh, subscribe, and ding that bell so you can get notifications when we post new videos. We will definitely see you guys next time, and thanks a lot.